He may put a torpedo in the water. I thought that would happen. This is it. We will lose him. We sunk one, but it's only one. Alright, we got another one. Ooh. Got to bug out quickly. Don't know if we've got it yet. We've launched a torp. We have launched a torp. And it's looking, it's looking good. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh, we got him before he blew. There we go. Alright. He could get one off at us. Ooh. We got one off at him and he's gone. He's finished. Gone. Yes. Welcome back everybody. It is good to be back. And we are back with Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts. So we're following on from our last episode where we had a bit of a mixed bag. Our first battle, we pretty much absolutely annihilated the competition and sunk all their ships. But the second battle, I went in and I was... My manoeuvres I uh, pulled off were quite silly or let's say quite stupid. So I paid for it. Um, I lost most of my ships. I think I lost a heavy uh, cruiser and a destroyer and, uh, and I think I also lost a light cruiser. So we're going to continue on our campaign and I think this is going to be one of the most important battles to date because as we finished the last episode we had this battle right here and as you can see we have a lot of battleships on the line and you might go well you're pretty overpowered overpowered compared to what we're up against but how many torpedo boats are we up against? So this is going to come down to the AI and how well the AI can pull this battle off for the British. Because they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven torpedo boats. We've got one torpedo boat. We have four battleships. Two of the battleships are old. The bottom two. And we've got our two brand new battleships. So this is the scary thing. These brand new battleships are great. We've got torpedo tubes in them. The speeds are reasonable. But... We had to sacrifice our bulkheads to make these have the turrets and, and weaponry on board that I wanted. But that would be okay against another battleship or a heavy cruiser. But when we come up against these torpedo boats, which I'm guessing the AI is going to throw at us left, right and centre, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. We won't be able to outmanoeuvre them in terms of speed. And turning radius. But uh, they're going to be able to lob so many torpedoes at us. And one torpedo will potentially wipe out. The older, tor the older battleships may survive. But these newer battleships may not. They do have heavier armor though. But uh, the bulkheads with a torpedo will probably wash us out. So let's see how that goes. But anyway, before we get started, thank you for everybody who subscribed, everybody who's joined the uh, the series on Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts. I hope you are, but please subscribe if you want more. And uh, if you enjoy any of my other content, that will be uh, great if you want to smash that subscribe and, and like button. Not sure, I might live stream this um, on an episode. I don't know yet. We'll see how we go, but I am looking forward to the next update as it is an early access game. But let's just get straight into it. We may end up building some ships, but we'll see how long this battle takes. Uh, and we might have to leave building ships to the next episode. Uh, as long as we can get to the next turn. But we have got two battles. So we're going to get straight into the big one. So too much talking. That's the other battle, which is quite an even match. But again, transports. We're going to lose some transports. So let's go into the battleship battle. And here we go. We're going to pause it up, straight up, so you can already see, and I guess these are going to be probably newer torpedoes. So our goal here is to really just wipe out the torpedo boats. Now we should be good if they're coming on this angle. 
already. Sixteen. So there are our older ships, which are sixteen. Our newer ships go twenty-one. So they have got speed on there, and but the, as you can see, the bulkheads <laughs> terrible compared to the newer ships. Oh, the newer ships are similar. All right, so we're actually similar in sort of setup. All right, like always, let's speed it up and get this battle happening. Now, are these following? No, because you're faster. So the older ships are going to fall behind. So let's disconnect, detach you. We're going to detach all. We don't want them to be attached to anybody. And speed are up to two. Alright, so here we go. What have we got? We have a torpedo boat coming in. We have a heavy... Alright, we're going to aim for this torpedo boat first. All guns on a torpedo boat. I'm happy for you to fire on that. Three battleships onto you. We might end up slowing this one down depending on how tactical we need to get. So as I said, they're making a run for us. We have another torpedo boat. I'm going to try to bring this torpedo boat out. We're going to bring you now in. You're in trouble already. Way too slow, way too slow. So I'll be zoomed out quite a bit for this one because I need to know where tactically everybody is. We'll try to bring him up in the rear so he fights backwards. aiming for you you're aiming there let's come through okay all right that's what I was hoping for We know these battleships are quite fast, so they can outmaneuver. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. So he's in torp range already, because they've got very good distance on their torps. You're going to fly, go this way. Now we're going to make a runner. So, as I said, they would throw all our torpedo boats at us, and the AI's done exactly that. I'm actually quite impressed. I think we're doing the right thing tactically against these torpedo boats. Just trying to run away. I'm not abandoning yet. I'm trying to see if we can lay some damage on these torpedo boats before get them a bit injured. Get some damage on them. So we've already got some damage on a couple of them. This one unfortunately we have not laid waste at all to. 
So we know these two have torpedoes. And we've got torpedoes over here. That's what I wanted. Good. Good, good, good. Who laid that on you, T. Brook? Your damage. Good, good, good. So we've got 11%. You're close enough now. You should be... Quite good range. So he's going to come in and try to put some torpedoes... Got another one coming closer. I'm going to bring you in. Alright, we're in a bit of trouble here. We're now going to bring you in. Don't know if this battleship's going to be able to get around this torp transport. Alright, this is dangerous. These can't outmaneuver. We can't outmaneuver these torpedo boats. So we're just going to keep... So you're going to launch at us now. And we don't have a chance of outmaneuvering him. Good. We have a chance. Heavy cruisers coming back down. All right. Need the battleship to come in to play. This battleship's in big trouble. We have a heavy cruiser coming in. We can probably start firing on him right now. Need to start sinking some of these now. Alright, we need to maneuver in now. Alright, I'm going to try to maneuver this way. Where is my... Here he is. Alright, they've sunk one of our... Actually, that heavy cruiser we've done a bit of damage to as well. Alright, we're in torpedo range. We're going to be in torpedo range again. This is very risky. We are very risky here. We are very, very risky. We will get hit. I'm pretty sure we are going to get hit by this, uh, we might be able to hit him back, but we are going to get hit. He's going to put a torpedo in the water. Where's our other battleship? He may put a torpedo in the water. I thought that would happen. This is it. We will lose him. We sunk one, but it's only one.
Alright, we're going to bug out with our other wombat. We're not going to risk him. So we actually launched a torpedo and we actually got him. I'm pretty sure, yep. So we're very lucky. So we have some minor damage. We are very slow on the Wombat, but we might be able to take him out. Blood in. Very slow. All right, we'll put him back to full speed. Come on. So I'm going to bring this torpedo boat in and we're going to try to torpedo you. We didn't come off too badly. Good, 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 good. Keep filling in with lead. Let's go. Alright, he's in big trouble, but he will pump it. I'm hoping to lay a few more on there so we can finish him. Because this torpedo boat's coming in pretty fast and we're going to have to swap to you. Alright, here we go. I'm happy to sacrifice him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, we're all firing on him now. But he doesn't have torps. He does. Alright. That's it. That's it. Actually, we're going to utilize you up here. Here we go. I'm waiting for them to arm up. So close. Alright, we're going. Where are we going?
We should have him. There we go. We and got him, I think. <laughs> Quite not. Gotta be careful of his torpedoes. Alright, we've got another one. Now I think we've got him. We potentially have him. Oh, we got to have him now. Wow. Been slaughtered. So oh, we. Alright, we got him. Nice. I'm gonna bug us out here because we're in big trouble. I'm gonna go and see if we can. We might lose our torpedo boat. Don't forget, we've got torpedoes in here as well. Come between here and see what we can do. That's it. And what have we got a crew here? What sort of crew have we got? Cadets. First battle for the Wombats. Ooh. Got to bug out quickly. Don't know if we've got it yet. We've launched a torp. We have launched a torp. And it's looking, it's looking good. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh, we got him before he blew. There we go. All right. We've got to try to protect a torpedo boat. We're not bugging out. We're going to finish them all off. We're finishing this battle. Where is the other one? Well, we survived. We had one torpedo hit on this uh, wombat. We potentially still might lose our torpedo boat, but we're trying to get in, close the gap as quickly as we can so we can finish them off. They are, they are making a runner now, but you would not want to be this ship right now. We 
is dead in the water. Oh, we're going to get in torpedo range. Scoot around the torpedo range. So we're going to come around quickly. We should be okay. Yep, we'll be fine. You can follow them around as well. And he is going down. Ooh, we scooted the edge. But he wouldn't be able to fire anyway. Next. So it's the mop up battle now. Because they're on the run. Another one down. I think that's our third torpedo we have. A uh, boat of theirs we've knocked out. And we've saved our... Amazing enough, we have saved our torpedo boat. Again, another torpedo boat I would not want to be right now. First big hit. He looks like he's going to try to fire on us. As we bear down on him. There you have it. Four battleships bearing down on the poor little torpedo boat. Shouldn't take long. Ooh. I do like all the turrets firing on this ship. <laughs> Love it. Come on, he's gone. Is that a wombat? That's a wombat. Let's see how the old wombat fires off all salvos. Waiting. I'm waiting. I want to get that photo up. Where's the photo up? Here we go. Photo up. Come on. Photo up. That's it. <laughs> nice. Again. The happy music comes on because it's a battle that I thought we were going to get a little wounded or punished by, but we have successfully. Oh, there's more ships southeast. Whereabouts? Is it worth chasing down? I don't think it is. Let's just, uh, 
We're going to finish the battle here. But if it's still going now, it's because I decided to chase down the ship. Oh, the last torpedo ship. Here it is. <laughs> We're going to chase him down. We're not going to let anyone get away from us. They sunk our transports. This is the one we wound this. Oh, we wounded him a while back. Okay. Well. Sped up time and we're going to finish him. No way we're going to let him go. I'll just wait until the, we hit him. We'll get closer. No silly tactics. We are maneuvering away from his torpedoes. It's just not worth it. Wait for our ship to uh, blast him. Oh, he's damaging us a little bit. Here we go. Let's open up. Big guns at the ready. There we go. We missed. <laughs> We could go in and uh, try to torpedo him. Here we go. Big guns. Light damage. We might try to scoot around the back and get around. Oh, he's running, so we're not going to get in torpedo range. Well, I hope not. And I'm pretty sure that they have the top deck torpedoes. They can Ooh, that's nasty. We should be okay. We are fine. We are fine. He did get one off on the back. We may not get one off on him, though. Has he got another mount? We will probably not launch one at him. He could get one off at us. Ooh, we got one off at him, and he's gone. He's finished. Gone. Yes. Wombat class proved itself. Sunk them all. 
You see that? Every single one. That's a brilliant victory. Absolutely brilliant victory. But they really hurt us with the transport sunk. So we have a blockade happening at the moment. Looks like we're moving some ships around the back over here as well. So we've really got a serious dint in what they've got. The British, we've really smashed them down. Where's the blockade? Uh, blockade. So we're blockading them, I'm guessing. Uh, yep. Now, we have one more battle. I'm going to leave it at that for this one. Kanga. So we've got a Kanga class. So we should have some torps on there. We won't have torps here. won't have torps there. We've got a platypus, which is one of ours. We have a couple of light cruisers. So everybody, I am going to actually finish it on that episode. Or sorry, that battle. With that beautiful, beautiful battle. That I thought would be a close one. But uh, as you can see, we have just a bit of an overview before we go. We've got plenty of ships coming through. Uh, obviously these ones are in repair. But it shouldn't take too long to get repaired. We've got a lot coming out of production. We've got couple of dingo class which is our light cruisers and we've got some kookaburras coming off which are our heavies we've got a lot of uh torpedo boats as well coming off as well not a dingo so we've got quite a few ships in the line coming off the line uh we've got a battle and we've got a few repairs we've got a lot out at sea at the moment which i'm guessing are in in sea baltic 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 what are these uh status normal so these are in bean we're in sea control so we've got a lot out well what about here we don't have many out where is that let's get some more out we've got a chance to really annihilate them so here we can get i'm just going to mean that we've got to have more cash being burnt where are they they are out in so there and Alright, we'll leave those out. And Dresden, we need a torpedo boat out here. Alright, so finances. Yeah, so it's monthly balances just because I've put a lot of ships out. So we're very, we've got no unrest. We're quite respected. Naval prestige at 40. Uh, and uh, a lot of ships. We have a lot of ships, 60% to get our bigger tonnage happening in the shipyards. We're still managing to keep our transport capacity above or around 80%. So we're doing quite well. So let's go in and have a look at one of our ships. One of the ones that were victorious in the battle, the Wombat Class 2. Let's have a look. These ones got us through the battle. The torpedoes did or were effective. Uh, so they were actually quite effective, these ships. And with a torpedo hit, they didn't sink. So absolutely amazing. So everybody, thank you all for watching this episode. It was a great battle. It was a victorious battle. And we may have put a massive dent in the enemy. And it could be the way to victory. Thank you all. I've been Gammy Wombat. And I'll see you all on the other side.